Curry. I'm the president of Toyota Indiana Manufacturing. So the all new Sienna was designed, engineered, and now manufactured in the US. We changed the platform and we changed the upper body. So we call that a double major. Basically we're changing almost everything on this vehicle. My name is Ted Brown. I'm the general manager of quality here at Team Amon. When we prepare for a major model change of a vehicle like this, there's a lot of work that goes into it. But it always starts with checking out the current condition. What's happening in our manufacturing shop? What is it that we want to improve with this next major model? On top of that, we want to know what's going on with the current vehicle in the market. What are our customers saying? What do they want in the future? So that we can make sure that we're understanding what potential changes could come about that we need to do in manufacturing to address those customer concerns. Now we're ready to start working with design. So they'll start developing some drawings. We'll work hand in hand with them, and then eventually we'll take those drawings and we'll make some 3D models. And we'll do some digital assembly or virtual builds where we confirm how the vehicle goes together, look for workability issues, and start developing our standardized work, which is the instructions for our team members on how to build this new vehicle. For our team members, uh, we have a select group that are high-skilled subject matter experts that start on this project almost two years, two plus years, before the vehicle is even built. We're taking manufacturing team members from our weld shop, our press shop, our paint shop, plastic shop, assembly shop, and they're engaged with the designers and they want to learn what it is that they want to improve for the customer and then translate that into a manufacturing process to achieve that goal. These are the members that are going to be working side by side with the team members that are going to build this eventual new model. So they really become the experts of their area and they bring that information back to their team so they're able to then train those team members on how to build that new model. So when they're over uh, with working with design, learning what the customer experience targets are, translating that standardized work, they come back, they write the standardized work, and then train the team members. Work with them on the line when they're building these trial runs to confirm that we're meeting the expectations that have been set forth. So really, it's a team effort. And once we get back to the shop floor, it's 100% of the team members engaged. We pull them offline, we show them the new unit, they really get deeply involved and bought into the excitement of this new vehicle. And they work on improving the, the actual manufacturability to the vehicle. So not only do we improve the vehicle itself, we actually improve how we attach parts to the vehicle. So these subject matter experts give a lot of input into design. The next thing you know, we're running trials. Now, this vehicle is produced in our East plant. So in East plant, we produce the Highlander, the Gray Highlander, and the Sienna. So the team members don't stop. We, do, we don't stop running vehicles off the end of the line. We, we actually do this while we're running the past model. So it is quite the feat to do this and keep running a vehicle off the line every 61 seconds. So the team members get their feel of the vehicle and then they can give feedback as we're running these trial vehicles with the past model vehicles and they can give feedback into what do they need to change in their processes and how things are laid out. Uh, so it's amazing what we do to produce a new gen uh, when we're still running the old generation. We'll take units, build them up, tear them down, rebuild them on the line over and over again to build that mind and muscle memory so that they know what it takes to build that unit and make sure that they're meeting the customer expectations. Now it's go time. Now it's ready to launch the vehicle and get it out there to the eagerly anticipating customers. And so it takes a lot more effort when you're changing uh, the platform and the upper body. So for us, uh, we've had a one week shutdown really to prepare the final preparations to move the equipment. And now we can take out the old generation Sienna equipment, we can move in this new generation Sienna equipment. We do all that within one week. You know, from a manufacturing perspective, some of the goals that were set for this vehicle were some tremendous fuel economy. So there was a lot of light weighting that went into this vehicle. So we introduced a lot of new technologies for us, like aluminum was something new for us here. So learning how to produce aluminum, how to stamp it, how to weld it, how to join aluminum to the vehicle so that we could realize the light weighting opportunities to improve the miles per gallon that we're gonna get out of this vehicle. That was a big challenge. It was a really neat opportunity to learn about that new technology uh, and the welding processes that go into that. Along with that, we also have a, a brand new resin back hatch. 
So this is a, a, a resin back hatch that's got a steel reinforcement that is, again, a lightweighting purpose. It has all the strength requirements that a steel door would have, but significantly lower weight, and it was, allows for a really cool styling on the back end of the vehicle. So producing that resin back hatch, what's unique about that is the hatch is produced off of the vehicle when it goes through the weld shop. So the ability to keep the back hatch opening perfectly aligned to then receive that resin back hatch from the plastic shop was a big challenge. So it was really neat to see our engineers and our team come together, find some creative solutions that then could be applied to make sure that that body was going to be lined perfectly for the hatch that it was gonna marry up to. The challenge of the COVID shutdown was monumental. It was unbelievable. We had just launched the Highlander and we were in the development of this Sienna. So there was significant overlap. It's a big challenge here. In our East assembly line, we build the Highlander and the Sienna on the same line. There was a lot of trepidation about what's gonna happen next. How are we gonna launch this vehicle? And to me, the really cool thing was how we didn't think about what we can't do. We thought about what we can do. Overcoming that challenge was really, to me, the biggest memory about this Sienna launch. I think we're successful because of the Toyota Way continuous improvement, and, and it takes detailed planning. So every one of our shops, which was the plastics, the weld, the assembly, the paint, the press, with North American PE, with design, work together as a team, and as that team works together, we plan these trials. So it's not an individual function, it's a team across North America that's working to really run these trials as we're running the old gen. So it takes a lot of detailed planning, it's not easy, but it's something that's in our DNA and we wanna see how it works with the team members building the vehicle uh, while they're building the other vehicles. And we can, we can actually surface a lot of problems uh, when, when we run this way. When I see a vehicle going down the road that was built here at TMMI, the first thing that comes to my mind are the team members, honestly. I've been here 21 years and the team that I get to work with on a daily basis really generates a lot of pride in me. So when I see that vehicle driving down the highway, I'm really excited about what our team members were able to bring to the table to bring this vehicle to production because there's a lot of work that those team members put into it and they take a lot of pride in it. It's really neat to watch that first vehicle line off. The team members are standing around watching and they watch it line off. They watch the vehicle start up, drive off the end of the line, everybody starts clapping. It is such a cool moment. So the new Sienna for me is absolutely amazing and I know every single one of our customers and new customers are gonna love it because this new Sienna can really do it all.